Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back. We're going to finish Chapter 10, Center Manifold Theory, by talking a bit about the problems at the end of the chapter. So the first example is uh, in line with the two examples I did in the chapter, a two-dimensional autonomous vector field on the plane, and the origin is a fixed point. You can easily verify that it's non-hyperbolic, and use center manifold to analyze stability of the origin. Now, in the second problem, it's similar. Ah, one thing I wanted to say, when it's... When the center manifold is one-dimensional, you can really understand the nature of stability just by the sign of the vector field. When it's more than one-dimensional, it's a little more hard. You may have to use the Apinoff's theory or the Lassalle invariance principle or something like that. Okay, problem two. Uh, I want you to compute the center manifold, determine stability of the origin. That is probably pretty easy in this case, and say something about uh, blow up in finite time and how that affects um, your answer. Okay, here's another two dimensional problem. So it's non hyperbolic um, at the origin, the origin's a fixed point. But what I want you to do is go a bit further with analyzing invariant manifold. I want you to show that y equal x squared is an invariant manifold. What type of invariant manifold? And then that show, use that to show there is a, a heteroclinic trajectory connecting these two different equilibria. Okay, this is an interesting problem. You go beyond, you use center manifold as a tool to get even more information about the vector field. And then problem four, five, and six, I warned you that higher dimensional problems would be a little more involved, possibly, if the center manifold is more than one dimensional. And you can check that out in these cases. Um, and uh, use center manifold theory to, in all three cases, the origin is a non-hyperbolic fixed point. Use center manifold theory to analyze stability of the origin. You might want to try and see if other techniques like Lyapunov or, or Lasalle invariance principle could also be used. Okay, that completes all 10 chapters. That's the content of the course. But I mentioned that I have these appendices and I never get a chance to teach them in the course and I want to come back to them and talk about why I included them as appendices and the interesting things in them and where you can go from here. So, hopefully, see you next time. Bye.